Morning, I'm Heather Good in for Susan Dinkle. A growing crisis all across the country could be putting your child at risk right here in the Wabash Valley. It's a shortage of school nurses. We first told you about the issue yesterday right here on News 10 First at 5. News 10 Sarah Lehman continues our coverage. She spoke with some school officials today. She joins us now live with what you need to know. Heather, it's being considered a national epidemic and it's happening here at home too. Multiple school corporations in the Wabash Valley do not have a full time school nurse or if they do have one, they're covering multiple schools. Now that's something that's becoming more and more common. Indiana State University's Dean for the College of Health and Human Services, Caroline Mallory. She says there are a few reasons why students who graduate with a nursing degree don't become school nurses. One is salary. Another is that most schools want someone with years of experience. Mallory says with the baby boomer generation getting closer to retiring, colleges and elementary schools may want to partner up to give that experience to future nurses while they're still in college. That way, the shortage of school nurses doesn't continue or get worse. School nursing is really essential, and yet um, we haven't really provided the incentives uh, for, for nurses to enter that field. I saw that as an opportunity of maybe when I'm older, something I would be interested in um, because I like kids, but it could be difficult too. Now, if you go to the Vigo County School Corporation website, you'll see that they have a handful of nurses, about 10, and each one of those nurses covers at least three schools in the corporation. So it clearly is, or it could become a serious problem here. Now, coming up on News 10 at 6, I'll have more from the Vigo County School Corporation on the issue. Reporting live at Indiana State University, I'm Sarah Lehman, News 10. Back to you. Currently, there are no federal laws regulating school nurse staffing. However, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends at least one registered nurse in every school.